What is up, YouTube? I'm Devon DaVinci, leader of the Renaissance Crew, and you're watching DaVinci Reacts. For those of you that are wondering what was up my voice with the last video, it is because I am working on trying to do some voiceovers on some stuff that I got planned. I don't know if it will ever come into fruition anytime soon because, as I told you, my computer is a piece of shit, but I'm trying to speak more with my, more with my diaphragm. That's the reason why. So if you're wondering why my voice sounds weird, I'm practicing and trying to do a little bit of voice control. Now, with that being said, hopefully I don't have to explain it more to you guys. This is another video that is very similar to, uh, I did some videos not too long ago by a channel called Data is Beautiful. And it's very much a video where you pretty much look at like a real time, not necessarily real time, but in a way it's kind of real time, depending on what the definition of real time is. It's like a real time chart and it tracks a particular subject over a period of time. Like the ones I did were like musical acts from 1970 to 2019. And it was a chart that showed you like based on every month who was on top, who wasn't, and the numbers would move dynamically. Um, there was other ones I did as well. I think it was like most popular uh, either website or web browser, something like that. And I told you guys to go check out their channel because they have many other stuff that's very similar to it. And I don't want to go and just look at a person's entire channel because I want you guys to go and check it out yourself. This is another channel that does very similar things to Data is Beautiful. This is this channel is called Stats Culture, and they did a video called Best Selling Manga in Japan from 2008 to 2019. Um, for those of you that don't know, I'm a huge manga fan. I have at least like five different websites that I uh, have saved that I go to to read manga. Um, I'm still I'm reading like stuff like One Punch Man and um, uh, My Hero Academia, um, Dragon Ball Super, and I mean mainly just generic stuff. But there are a couple ones that are more obscure. I don't know the names of them because I'm not good with names. You guys know that. But with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into this and see what it has to offer. If you haven't seen this already, go to the original video first and make sure you actually give them a view because they need ad revenue so that they can continue to make products like this. And if the best way to show support is to go to the channel and watch the video. Now, with that being said, let's check this out. Watch till the end. The video has a low bar. All right, now One Piece has been on top for a very long time. That's something I do know. I don't know how. I don't. I don't like One Piece. Mainly the art style. The art style is a big turnoff for me. All right, so Full Metal Alchemist jumped in. Fairy tale should switch right now. Okay. It seems like Data is Beautiful is a little bit quicker when it comes to updates on their videos, like things moving and stuff. But um, I am interested in these types of videos. Yeah, like I said, One Piece has been dominant for a very long time. This is almost ridiculous how dominant they are. <laughs> and they're still going up. <laughs> Now keep in mind that this is based on month. This isn't accumulated over their lifetimes. So it's not like they sold 36, I don't know what the point is, 30, okay, 36 million. Uh, and then it's just counting each month as they sell. No, this, is, this means that in October 2010, it sold 36.7 million. And then when it moves to November, whatever that number is gonna be at when that pops up, let's see. There we go. 37.3. So it sold about 37.3 million by itself in November. So these are each individual month. The fact that it's still going up shows that month after month after month, it's getting more popular as time goes by. All right. Blue Exorcist. Gantz. Bleach is starting to fall out. Fairy Tale. Here we go, Naruto. Let 
I'm trying to see the ones I recognize because obviously One Piece, uh, Naruto, Fairy Tale. I've heard of Blue Exorcist, Kiriko's, or Kiriko's Basketball, Space Brothers. Never heard of those. Magi, I think I've heard of. I'm believing around 2015 is when Dragon Ball Super came out. I don't know if it's going to appear on here. Attack on Titan came in just dominating. <laughs> Attack on Titan came in not playing games. Hunter x Hunter. Obviously, I know that one. Assassination Classroom. Hopefully, this music isn't copyright claimed. Seven Deadly Sins. Ace of Diamond. Never heard of that. Tokyo Ghoul is a good one. I love Tokyo Ghoul. I've never actually read Assassin Classroom. I've been meaning to, but I haven't actually sat down and gotten into it. Food Wars. That's a TV series I need to get into. Prison School is another one I was planning on getting into. music sound familiar for a second. I thought I recognized it, but it changed. It could be like a parody or something. Okay, One Punch Man. Food Wars again. My Hero Academia has appeared. Starting to get popular as well. One Piece is finally starting to come back to reality. <laughs> Of this fantasy world of 30 million copies sold. I don't know what Kingdom is. Or Haikyuu. Don't know if that's how you pronounce it or not. Maybe. Alright, Slam Dunk. Never saw it, but I heard about it. The Promised Neverland. I've heard of that. I've seen like a couple episodes, but it's kind of hard to follow for me. So I haven't really gotten too into it. Reincarnated as a slime. I've heard of that. Haven't uh, seen or read about it. Woo! Demon Slayer. Good God. That's another series I've been meaning to get into. I'm gonna stop it right here. Well, let me see what else is here. Because I wanna stop it and leave it like freeze frame or something. It said watch till the end though, so I'm gonna watch. I'll come back. Yeah, I've really been meaning to get into Demon Slayer. Alright, then they have most popular anime as well, right here. This goes back to 2007 to 2019. So that could be another interesting one to watch if you happen to be into it. All right, so that is all of it. So the anime one could be another one that you might be interested in if you're interested in this video. Now, like I said, I'm a big fan of manga. I've read a ton of manga. I, I suck with names, so I can't really like list out all the manga that I've read to you. <laughs> um, all our, uh, Japanese title, like Japanese title. That's all I'll be able to say. It's a Japanese title. That's, that's what I can give you. But um, I will recognize it based on plot. Like if once I start to like read the first issue or the first chapter, then I'll be like, okay. Okay, now I, I'm pretty sure I read this. Um, for those of you that are manga fans, uh, be sure to go to the comment section. Let me know what manga that you happen to be interested in. Like anything that, well, I'm, like I said, I can't tell you what I've seen or haven't seen, so. I can't say anything I haven't seen, but if you've seen anything that is really interesting to you, something that you feel like other people should check out, be sure to leave it in the comment section down below. And for me, to help me out, let me know if it, if it is something that you want to leave in the comment section. Let me know if it is something that is mainstream, like popular, or if it's something that's a bit of like a deep cut, something that most people probably wouldn't 
think to look up or know anything about, but you feel like it's underrated and deserves more attention because I would like to check out more manga as well. Um, you don't have to get into like the plot or anything like that because the websites I go to, they usually give you the plot of what the manga is. But um, yeah, let me know what you guys happen to be reading at the time. I, I'd love to get more uh, information from you all and what better way than with that. So with that being said, I want to thank you guys for coming through and checking this out. Um, be sure to check out the original content creator, which is uh, Stats Culture. I will have a link for their channel at the end of this video, the last 30 seconds. It'll pop up right around here. Um, I hope that you guys have gone and seen the original video before you watch this, or if you've already seen it, then it's cool. It's just I want to try to show the original content creator support as much as I can. So if you... Um, like you can you can even have the video playing in the background, have it muted, whatever else. Just make sure you are giving them a view in some way. Um, but like I said, with that being said, I'm Devon Da Vinci, leader of the Renaissance Crew. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and share. And I'm gonna give you the deuces, and I will see you guys in the future video. Deuces. <laughs>